Let's learn how to get the region of interest from the image display or use the default value if that ROI has not been defined on the image display. Eventually I need the value to be plugged in right here. This is the ROI input for the Vision Assistant Express VI. I'm going to use the property node linked in to the main image display and then with the ROI property selected. Now at this point this is producing the information about either a single ROI or perhaps a compound or multiple ROIs to find on the image display. In the event that no ROI has been defined by the user, we need to use a default. And I can create a constant from the Vision Assistant Express VI directly, and this can serve as the default value. Now, at this point, I have two, two sources for ROI, either that defined by the user on the image display or the default value. Now, as we look at the details of what constitutes an ROI, we see it's a cluster of two elements. It has a global rectangle, which is an array, and then it has contours, and these are arrays of, or it's an array of individual ROIs. What I'll be doing here is using the test for an empty array. And this will be my mechanism to determine whether or not the user has defined a value. I'll use the select node then to pick between the two options, either the default value if the array is empty, or I will use the ROI defined if the array is not empty. Now because the ROI produced by the property node is a cluster of two arrays, I need to use unbundle, and I can really use either one of those values. I can either use the global um, or the contours themselves. I'll choose to use the global rectangle. Let me make sure I get my property node connected into the air cluster. All right, we're almost done. I can then plug this into the ROI descriptor input on the Express VI. And so to recap, we query the image display for an ROI. We check to see if it exists. If it does not exist, we use the default. Otherwise, if it does exist, we use that value.